that something that you would put? Hey, everyone. Hey, we're live, Healthy Wealthy Nomads at the Fresh House talking about marketing. We've got the whiteboard and Elena just dropped her flow and you're just in this conversation. So pretend this isn't here. <laughs> we love you and you're here. So just observe and here we are. Hey, casual. Well, really casual. It's, in, it's interesting because like, I, I feel like maybe a lot of people who are entrepreneurs are in the same position where it's like you've started a list, right? Like maybe you have your... your um, your MailChimp, right? You got it on your website and maybe you have, you know, a couple thousand people subscribed, but you haven't actually created funnels yet, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and, and the big question is, let's say you, or I, in my case, I have a bunch of Excel spreadsheets. Is it possible and is, is it valuable to bring all those people into a MailChimp or just like start emailing people like, what's the most effective approach to activating that list? Wait, can I answer? Because I think I, yeah. Scott's taught me the answer to this. Yeah. Is I actually want it, like, I created the funnel separately with, like, a new email list and a whole new targeting strategy. Yeah. And I just want to get those old people, because there's some people on there that maybe have not heard from me in a year or two. Right. And if they start receiving emails from me, it could be marked as spam or it could right. reduce the, the effectiveness of those emails. Totally. So I actually want to re-engage with them a little bit. Be like, hey, remember me? Give them some free content, some nice things that they... Through email? Yeah, just through okay. that separate list. And then once they are warmed up a little bit, get them, hey, actually, like, into this other system and I then at, get them to resubscribe so okay. that they're on board with being part of a list that's going to be more active. Cool. And, I mean, yeah. that's as, as much as I really... Yeah, what I learned from Ryan Dice and those cats at digitalmarketer.com is that every time somebody opts in, you want your list to even... You, you'll link them to an opt-in page, to, like, a landing page. And what we have on the board, like, this is kind of small and kind of cluttery, but there's ads, blogs, social media. This could also be your existing email list you would send them to an opt-in page to get them to resubscribe. It's like them digitally raising their hand, saying, hey, yes, I'm interested in this thing. So they would, your new list would opt into your funnel, and whatever email service provider you use to collect leads, they would be a new opt-in in that platform, if nice. you're switching platforms or building funnels for the first time. Nice. So I'm basically going to migrate my people and recheck in with them, like, do you still want to be a part of this? Do you still want to hear from me every week now? Is that okay with you? And get them to resubscribe. Cool. And then once they're in my new funnel, they're actually, like, periodically going to get offers to buy things from me. Nice. Finally. Like, money coming in for things I've been giving away for free forever. <laughs> That's epic. Yeah, and I, and I feel like that's, you know, part of the rite of passage as a digital mm -hmm. entrepreneur and as a teacher, you know, who has something to yeah. teach. Like, you got to go through that process of actually, like, teaching your thing, and then there comes that point where you're ready to share it with the world. And um, I definitely have some questions. I know you have a lot to share on this whiteboard. Um, and one of my questions is as far as, like, a depth of engagement, like, in regards to email, like... How deep does the does the rabbit hole of email marketing need to go versus like how versus or could I spend more time engaging through social through Facebook yeah. Lives? Yeah. You know what I mean? Do I need to set up this giant tripwire trap of you know email like sequences yeah. that is you know six months long or can it? You know what I mean? Like how deep does it go? Yeah, good question. <laughs> I think there's I think there's the simple answer for me is that there's a core and on the whiteboard you're so astute. You have um, noticed that I have a bunch of stuff over here, and we're gonna like set the camera up on this like. Wait, but the first thing is thing. that it's not as deep as you think. Like the rabbit come hole. Come show the okay, face. I'm like, come over here. Yeah. I'm down here. <laughs> so yeah, it's not as complicated as this would make it seem. Like I literally set up a whole email stream in what four days. Yeah. Like all the email templates and things to engage people for several weeks and get them in a product stream to actually buy something. It's really not as complicated yeah. as I thought. It doesn't have to be bombarding them because that's also not my flavor. And it's really pretty, it can make it as soft and streamlined as yeah. you want. When you have the right tools, it just makes it uh, easy, right? It's, it's, I liken it to buying a box of Legos. Like you see the castle on the front and then what's in the box. <laughs> like you see the picture of what we're building. Then what's in the box? You've got these little bags of parts that you can assemble and you get the manual, the step-by-step -step manual. And so that's what I've created and what I've found out is uh, I, what I learned from digitalmarketer.com, I didn't create this, I'm just a messenger for marketing here, is uh, this email follow-up machine. There's five phases to this machine and what we do is we set it up as a machine. This is a, so we're in this, I'll say globally, we're in this funnel bubble. 
you know, Russell Brunson, I was in his coaching program in 2015, a, a co-founder of a software tool called ClickFunnels. Everybody's talking about online marketing, sales funnels, but there's the visible funnel, what you see, the pages, and then there's the invisible funnel, the follow-up, the return path that you don't see as plainly as the funnel. Everybody talking about all these funnels. So, uh, so to answer your question, Jonathan, is out of these five phases, let me, if I find a marker that works, I don't know if this one does either. Out of these five phases, can you run in there and grab, there's on the desk, there's some markers. Yep. Of these five phases, we have to, to automate your business, to free up your time and get automated income and to turn advertising into profit. What we've discovered is that there's these three between this line. I know I'm drawing in black. These are funnel automations. So like this box. What's in this box? You've got engagement. This is when somebody opts into your freebie, your list. This, and then that leads to a product purchase. The follow-up there leads to a purchase, a sale. And then we want to ascend them. So this is a sequence here for ascending to a retreat, a training, a higher ticket offer. Or can I help with that after they bought the course? Or um, testimonial getting campaign. There's, we've got different campaigns that are literally fill in the blank, written from top um, copywriter in the world, one of them called, I think it was from Grant Green, who built the, the email machine templates. These are funnel automations. Segmentation is what you send to your existing list. So each of these automations is maybe three or four emails long, and it's a machine. So when somebody opts in, they're going to get this four email sequence over four days. But if they buy the thing we want them to buy from these emails on day two, they will not receive day three or four. So it's dynamic to how they're responding and how they're interacting in this thing. So again, not as complicated as it seems. Much at all. easier. It's like you write, like I basically wrote emails for four hours a day for four days and set up my templates and customized them, and then they're just in there with all these analytics built in that know who to send them to when and it's smarter than I am and does it while I'm sleeping and it still feels authentic and genuine. It's not bombarding people and it seems like a lot, but it's really people are just getting the messages they need because the system is so smart. Exactly what she said. <laughs> like I can say technical things, but she can say it so that you can understand it. Because I'm scared of all that stuff. I really am. I, and like we started talking in August, and I was like, "Oh, I don't know about this." And then I just sat down and, and understood it and did it, and now it's done. And it's it's really easy and really effective. And, and it's assets that you build one time that leverage mm -hmm. your time. Yeah. As long as you have those products online. Yeah. Right. So. So this is one, so of the, the, the main pieces that I've found that really make all the difference is <coughs> three marketing funnels. One of them is this one, it's taking a 50 to $300 course and being able to liquidate ad spend in your traffic, whatever attention you can get, eyeballs onto your sales process, your automated sales process, um, if you can put a dollar in advertising or traffic and get at least a dollar back on this front end, then you've got what we call perpetual traffic. And so you get unlimited leads and customers if you can make that system happen. And so imagine if you get free customers, free leads to follow up with who are interested in your products and services every day, all night long, that um, you're building your business on autopilot. So this is what we install. The next step is to ascend people into higher ticket offers. Everything on the back end of this one break-even funnel that you create, everything on the back end is pure profit from there. Because the most expensive part of your business is, is going to be to acquire new customers. And so that's why we have these lower ticket products. Freebie, we call this a tripwire, we call this um, a core offer, and then we ascend to profit maximizer products. So I could go and Scott, you want them to, overlay tools. Do you want to and, tell them what that looks like for me? I can give you an example please. of like what a tripwire yeah, means in real life. So what I did at lifebefore30.com. Lifebefore30.com, escapethematrixcourse.com, oh. coming live today, I hope, yeah. this week. So I made an online course, like putting together everything that I know 
filmed it, put it in ClickFunnels, and then took a module of that out, and that becomes my tripwire. So I have like a mini course, and then I have a full course. You splintered the little mini course so out of the full work. course. Yeah. You splintered it. Is out. that a free then, offer? No, that's like a twenty dollar offer. So my full course is four hundred dollars. Then this little one is twenty dollars, and then I have a free video that I'm starting to put out to my list, and then I'll run Facebook ads to. That's like a high-level overview of my philosophy and some tips to get them some value, get them interested in what I do, and then hopefully get them into buying that first thing. So I have like the free video, this little mini course, the full course, and then if they complete the full course, there's another program of like group coaching that comes out at like a thousand dollars, and then there's even more premium offers after that. But that's like what a real life. Scenario. How much is your that. core offer? My core offer is the course, and it's four hundred dollars. Okay, cool. Yeah. EscapeTheMatrixCourse.com. Everything I know after six years of being a nomad, so it's pretty good stuff. <laughs> cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the exact process that we're we've created, that Elena has created in her business, that we're going to test and launch live and see what we need to tweak out to make sure that she can build a machine for perpetual traffic. Nice. So um, once you build that system, curious, yeah. Um, at wanna... what point uh, do we start running ads and what does that look like? Okay, good question. So there's, well, I'm going to break down, I don't know if the camera can see over here, kind of over here. So we'll break down, this is the content life cycle. Again, another tool I learned from digital, I'm digitalmarketer.com certified. And uh, this is the content life cycle. So in the top of your funnel, middle and bottom of your funnel, tofu, mofu, and bofu. Oh my God. <laughs> there's different content and there's different types of communication at each stage. So the top of your funnel is where your social media traffic is. That's where your colder audiences are. The, we, t we could talk about traffic temperature. The people who don't know you, they're completely cold. They don't know who you are. You don't have a relationship with them. The people who have consume some of your social content. Maybe they watch, um, you know, I've got a strategy, I don't have it written not on this whiteboard except for this little tiny block over here. Basically, these nine videos displayed right here is a great strategy, one minute Facebook ad videos to get people in, like warm people up, to take them from cold to warm to hot. So there's a, there's a, little, there's a little video ad content strategy your tofu advertising, your top of funnel. It's tofu, it's vegan, and it's all digital though, but... Um, we love you, Scott! <laughs> I don't know how to, like, this is... I want to say it as eloquently and simple and plainly as Elena and, and really serve, because you just got to warm people up. So basically, we're just trying to get attention with ads. That's like a $1 a day ad strategy. Once we have people warmed up, then we're going to run what's called conversion ads and I'll, I can explain this concept for you so you get what's happening. So a conversion ad is where we put the Facebook tracking code called the pixel on the whole website and we create audiences. Now we're, for, to run a conversion ad we place, um, it's like an audience but it's actually a little inside the Facebook ads manager you create what's called a custom conversion and so we're gonna put Tell Facebook Ads Manager that we want to count a conversion for a lead, a subscriber, is when somebody hits the thank you page after they opt in. Hmm. So we run an ad for conversions in Facebook Ads to the opt. It links to the opt-in page, but Facebook is we're going to Facebook's algorithm. We're going to season Facebook's pixel, your Facebook pixel, so that Facebook optimizes and sends to people who are more likely to convert and reach the thank you page. Hmm. So we, again, to recap, we run ads, conversion objective, that's the campaign objective in the ads manager, it's called conversions. You have to set up a custom conversion on the thank you page and run the ads, link them to the opt-in page, and then Everybody who hits the thank you page, that will count in Facebook as a custom conversion and will show you the amount per result, the amount of money that you spent per lead because it reached this thank you page. So if you can get, you know, 70 cents to a buck, 17, 18, buck 20 a lead, depending on what market you're in and whatever you're doing, it's really good. You know, I had a client, we built this funnel out, um, 
how she, in the love relationships market, she had an online course to help people uh, manifest your love course.com. And uh, it's the same funnel. And we were getting like 68% opt-ins. So 100 people hit here, we're getting 68 email addresses. It was converting really good. Like you want to at least be at 25% on the opt-in page, mm. okay? And then it's just arithmetic. We're in the business of arithmetic because once you get in this level, it's science. It's music. So it's wait, music. Back to Jonathan's question, like when we do this, essentially, like from what I'm understanding, because I haven't started doing this part yet, right. is you set up the products, you know, the free one, the mini one, the core offer, you set this up. And this and then is you a machine. Kind of like, yeah, you have this machine that you can first target towards the people you already have on your list or people yeah. who are a little bit more familiar with you. Sort of what I'm thinking is yeah. that I kind of warm them up, I make some sales, I get feedback on my course. Yeah. Then once I have the machine really fine-tuned, I can start running ads and then start reaching like the colder market and making these little videos and doing more of that strategy once I've already kind of maxed out my personal warm to hot network. Yeah, mm, yeah. and it will fatigue. This is the thing, like you, you like that audience will fatigue. So it, it comes to the question of what's next, who's next? Mm -hmm. How do you expand your audience consistently and dependably? How do you find more people who are your ideal customers who are gonna opt in, who are gonna buy your stuff? So. This all comes back to audiences. I'm, I'm intuiting like this is one of the most powerful things that I could teach anybody starting out and in this position is just audiences. If you go create 30 audiences, you're gonna understand it better. And that's just for free. You can do that in your Facebook ads manager. But once you go and create 30 audiences, you'll be like, oh, and then it'll start clicking. <laughs> and then you'll be like, oh. Now, once you uh, create an audience, um, is it collecting data? Like once you create Forever. that audience, so it's it's just it's already collect Facebook page and Instagram business and your pixel on every site is already collecting the data. It's up for you to tell Facebook what data you want, hmm. what audiences that you want to create. Do you need to connect the pixel to your page in order to collect data for URL data for seeing? For it's it's kind of you but as far as like it, just creating an audience, do you get data just by creating an audience? Yeah, so I could say everybody who visits this page with this specific URL. Okay. And Facebook, with, with as long as the Facebook pixel, just pixel everything, all of your right, pages right, right. and websites and blog, pixel everything. And I can go in Facebook, create a custom audience based on website traffic and say, everybody who visited, type in the URL. And then it's going to constantly, so here's another audience that we will create in this funnel, is everybody who hits the order form but does not buy. So we can follow up with those people. We could say everybody who hits the order form in two or three days, four days. Hmm. And you could have that audience spending a dollar a day. It's not even probably gonna spend that much because it's such a small audience of people who hit the bottom of your funnel. Right, right. But that's a retargeting audience yeah. to get people back the return path to get them where they left off, the invisible funnel. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Scott, I think that was like the best thing that you said is sort of like, People might build the front end of this. They might be able to have a really sweet landing page and a couple emails following up, but they haven't really built a full comprehensive front end funnel. That's the landing pages and then the back end funnel, which is all of this like retargeting stuff. And you up. really need the back end of it to make the front end profitable, basically. It's, the fortune is in the follow up. We've all heard yeah. this. Mm. And so that's what a lot of people in this funnel bubble um, that's really popular are like, I can build funnels, I can build funnels, but not many people know about this follow-up machine and how to actually leverage your time and increase sales at the same time. Otherwise you're just spraying and praying, which is what I did for years and the universe provided, but if you want to move beyond just having the universe provide for you spontaneously whenever she feels like it, to actually having a, a system that reaches people with analytics and all that good stuff, then you, you have a way to uh, generate money sustainably. Consistently and <laughs> dependably. Yeah. Mm. So I had the front end for a while. I had my website, I wrote for a really major mainstream media in America, I had plenty of clients, but I didn't have any of the back end system of like analytics and tracking and emails that were automated based on actions of my customer, which is what this is. I'm excited for you. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Let's launch it. So you're launching today? I hope so. Yeah. I mean, if, if something's gonna not make sure broken it's in the okay. back end, but Cool. Yeah. What other questions you got? Like, 
Um, I guess Either. I'm, I'm okay. just curious if there's anything else on here that you didn't explain that is valuable. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like really... Well, I'll tell you what. So you've got specific offers. This is going to apply to you, Elena, as well. I'm going to just set this over here. And um, this 3x3 three three video grid, I learned from a dude, Dennis Yu, and his company, Blitz Metrics, has supposedly generated, spent a billion with a B dollars on ads, supposedly. And... Um, I'm looking for a rag. There's a little ragging on the desk that I can erase. Oh, this one? Hang on a sec. Yeah, this one works. I'll clear some room here and just explain this really, really powerful concept. This $1 a day Facebook video ad strategy that you can perpetually warm up, turn cold audience, people who don't know you, into warm audience, into hot audience mm. for a dollar a day to constantly grow your awareness, attention. Nice. If, 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 if all marketing, if all this is doing, I'll, I'll, I'll start with the formula. Attention, how many eyeballs are on your offers times leads, how many people can you follow up with, whether it's email, retargeting ads, messenger, leads, follow up, times sales. This is all the marketing. But then you've got times your profit margin, that, how much of the pie do you get to keep of the offers that you're offering, times the frequency. How many offers do you offer to your existing customers? Mm. These two are about offers, this is about marketing. What was the A again? Attention. Attention. So this equals your growth potential. This mm. is exponential. If you double your attention, like let's say you get a joint venture partner and they promote your stuff and you double the attention that you had, right? Well, if you've got this machine in place, if you double your attention, you double your growth potential. Nice. But if you've got this machine in place and you doubled your attention, you would have likely also double your leads. If you're converted, if you double your attention to what you're offering, right? And that would 4X your growth potential if you doubled attention and leads. Now, the, the hardest way to double another thing so you can 8x you want if you want to 8x your growth potential your business the hardest way to do it is to double your sales on a sales page because your sales is going to convert at a specific percentage now you can optimize it to a point and maybe you can double it on here but there's it's going to be faster and easier to double the amount of offers that you offer double your frequency to your existing buyers who are more likely to buy from you again right and that could 8x your growth potential what was m again so it's attention times leads, anybody you can follow up with. Now that, that could be email, that could be audiences, I think of that as, and then right. also Facebook Messenger bots, I call email 2.0. Yeah. That's leads and that's sales. Attention, leads, and sales. Yeah. Times your profit margin, times margin. your frequency. Cool. Yeah, that frequency is nice because also once you know how to do this, it's super easy to replicate. So then you can yeah. just come up with a new offer, put it in the system, and it's, again, targeting people who right. are warmer than they were before. And yeah. You, you just clone you the assets after yeah. you make them, mm. and then you've got it for another product. Yeah, I cool. just did that this week. I have, like, also a yoga business, <laughs> and I'm making a new yoga course. And so I literally am going to launch, like, three products at once, and it took me... A couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. But I'm also hyper motivated. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. So <laughs> awesome. So good. Take an action. And it can cross populate because there are different audiences in different like areas. One's like lifestyle and travel, and the other is yoga and health and healing. So it can actually also cross sell people in different audiences to my different products. Nice. Perfect. So let's talk about filling your funnels. So once you have this machine built and you know all these little machines and this is actually all the stuff that I, I'm, I found makes the most impact for people to automate their income and their time and contribution, leverage it, is okay, there's this three by three ad grid. So if you have, let's say you have one product and you made nine videos. You could do nine, you could do however many you wanted, but let's just say you did all these. And the first three are why. And these are one minute videos. These are why are you doing what you're doing? That you could send this out to oceans of people, an audience of people, if you're in the entrepreneur space, maybe people who like Tony Robbins, who also like Entrepreneur Magazine, narrow it down to people who listen to Trevor Hall and Naco and Medicine for the People and Michael Franti, 
and soja. Right, right, right. And you narrow it and down. And ecstatic to, dance. And ecstatic <laughs> dance. And you narrowed it down in their entrepreneur space, and they own a, their business page managers on Facebook. They mm. own pages. Nice. You can target those people. You in different countries and who speak English, you will send this one minute video for a dollar a day out to those cold audiences and then you build an audience off of people who watch a percentage of your video, say 50 or 75%. You can bet if they watch 30 seconds of your why video, you're next gonna send them, retarget them and send them for a dollar a day how-to videos hmm. to build goodwill. Because our income, what Frank, what I learned from Frank Kern, what I believe, what he believes and what he teaches is that our income is in direct proportion to three things. It's the goodwill, the bonds, and the goodwill that we have with our marketplace, with our audience. And that's determined, that's created by the value that we deliver to the marketplace. So we make valuable content instead of cat videos and, and all these people on Instagram being social media influencers just being, look how cool I am. Right, right. Instead, if you can just actually help people by actually helping them and provide value in one, three, five, six minutes, because our attention span is shorter than a butterfly, <laughs> supposedly, scientifically. So how would you make three Y videos? So like even you if you have one, videos. but let's say, what are your stories? What, like, when you were escaping the matrix, Elena, what epiphany light bulb moments happened that changed your beliefs forever? What transitions, transformations, and what's the epiphany? Can you name one real quick? Like, where were you? What happened? Mm, working in New York City is a. <laughs> I'm filming Scott filming me. <laughs> um, working in New York City as a management consultant, looking at my undergrad degree in, and I speak multiple foreign languages, and just banging my head against this Excel spreadsheet, going like, "This is not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be overseas." <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're doing it right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be overseas. Like that's the only thing I really know. Really know. I, like I didn't need to know the long-term plan or the long-term vision. I just needed to know that I wasn't supposed to be there. I needed to get somewhere else. And that was like a quick. Okay, let me just do something else and not overthink it too much. Does that answer your kind of like spur of the moment? That's good. Why? That's your. Yeah. That's that goes to the core root of what your why you did what you did. It's your core. It's your truth. It's what's. It's your story. Yeah, yeah I just woke up to my it's truth. Righteous. Like, it's the most why, right. Like I'm not supposed to be here. I know I'm supposed to be somewhere else. And then just deciding to make that work and dedicating everything to making that work. So is there a like a step by step for the why? Like as far as like to yes, be there's created. a four step. Uh, script process. Nice. Yes. Oh, and I'll send you the link. Um, yes, there is a specific script for this. Um, I'll just tell you the link. If you're watching this right now, it's blitzmetrics.com forward slash Y, W H Y. That's the script mm -hmm. from this dude that supposedly spent a billion dollars on ads. Wow. So you do this Y video, you retarget to people that, you know, how-to videos, and then the people who watch these videos, maybe you do 50% viewers of those, then you retarget those people to what? And this, what, is your free opt-in. Nice, mm. brilliant. So here's what I've got, here's how it will help you, here's what I want you to do next. Click the link or comment below. What's cool now is you can just have Facebook Messenger bot so you could say comment below as your call to action because what happens is supposedly I heard that if you post a link in the description of your Facebook post, it may diminish the organic reach potential that you will get because mm. you want to take people off of Facebook. Right. But if Facebook doesn't see that and instead what's cool is if you say comment a keyword below like freedom or, or cheat sheet or whatever it is, freebie, or whatever ebook, whatever you say, or meditation, whatever you're offering, um, they comment, and you can set this up after you make the post, like your email, auto, your, your messenger autoresponder system, I like manychat, M-A-N-Y chat, dot com, it, it can monitor that post for keywords that people comment. When they comment, it opens up messenger and automatically sends them automated message. So you have a, it's like a lean list of leads. I've got 5% battery, so we're gonna have to wrap up in a moment. It's like a lean list instead of email. It's 
more responsive messenger. And then your messenger bot, they can subscribe to that. And then you deliver them the link to here. And you deliver them the link to get in your Facebook group, which is also like a lean list. Hmm. And you deliver them the link to whatever else you want, and they're on a lean list of your messenger bot. Nice. Yo, yo quick, quick thing about the Facebook pages versus groups. I didn't understand this until recently, and maybe some other people out there also don't don't know this. Is it is it dead? It's, no, it's almost it's oh. it's diminished. It's like I know you're on. Okay, um, that the page only shows to like. 8% of the people that like your page, so you don't actually want to drive people to your Facebook page, you want to drive them to a group, because if they're in your group, that's like 100% visibility, and everyone who's in your group will see your content. So I didn't realize that until recently, and I'm like, why do I even have a page when you just make a group? Well, the page, when you post content on the page, the engagement of the page posts is what Facebook tracks for you to create audiences. So if you post on your page and then publish to your group, you're building audiences on your content, but your group is like a lean list where people get notified when there's new posts. So you want both? Yes. Okay. You definitely want a page. A group is nice to have. It's kind of like a lean list. It's a lean okay. follow. It's a way. It's a way to capture leads through the Facebook network. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. That makes sense. You can use a tool like LiveLeap.com for nineteen dollars a month. I think it is where you can set um, custom routes, automated routes. So you go live on a Facebook page, and it will automatically share it to whatever groups, your personal profile, and other pages that you want automatically when you go live. Hmm. So you don't have to manually share. Oh, it. that's great. And so you're live on all these places, shared from your nice. page, collecting audiences. Cool. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, that's big. Cool. Syndicated live broadcast. So, so wrapping up the three, the nine. Yeah. Videos. So imagine if you had this for every little machine that you built, like this funnel. Right. If right, you right, had right. that running on autopilot all the time, warming up audiences, telling them start with why, like Simon Sinek's book. Yeah, yeah. How to yeah. videos, providing goodwill. They're building a bond with you. The people who watch those videos, you say, oh, I got this freebie that you're gonna love. Right. Because you watched this video. I know yeah, you did. Okay. I, you watched these specific ones. <laughs> like, nice. I know you want this. <laughs> nice. Anyway, yeah, epic man. Thank you for sharing all this. Whoa. There's another thing that that's secret, but um, it's not. But I could share it. But I know this thing's about to go up. So everything here, it's all about. I call it righteous alignment. I think that's gonna morph into the new core offer from HealthyWealthyNomad.com. Yes. It's, it's. I'm thinking just 97 bucks, and it's gonna help you create audiences. It's gonna. Um, help you align yourself and your service, your offerings, your message to your market, your platforms where you share what you're about and create audiences. And that's righteous alignment. And that just sets you up to build these automated machines that are gonna leverage your time and contribution and nice. income. Nice. Phew. Whoa. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Stop. bro. Dude, thank you for sharing. Epic today. sharing today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Wow, okay. We're still barely on. Thanks for your time and attention. Healthy, wealthy nomads living in the fresh house. Oh, see you next now. Let me know. Uh, tag, like, comment, share. Tag anybody who you feel this would be relevant for. Also, please uh, join the Healthy, Wealthy Nomad free Facebook group. Be happy to serve you there. But this is, the, this is what's up. These are the needle movers, and I'm happy to share them with you. I'll see you next now. Bye. Thanks, love.